to episode 2 of Persuasive Writing. In this video, you will learn how to brainstorm and how to write a persuasive text. On episode 1, we learned that persuasive writing is a type of opinion writing. So we need to state an opinion. Now, we also learned that merely stating the opinion will not convince our audience. What do we need? We need reasons, reasons and reasons to back up that opinion. In this video, you will be introduced to a structure or a template that you can follow when writing a persuasive text. Here's the structure. If you think it's useful, pause the video and copy it. Now let's look at this in detail. To start our persuasive text, we should first state our opinion. Next, we introduce our three reasons that would convince our audience or change their mind. After we've written our three reasons, we have to have a conclusion to end our persuasive text. And what do we do in the conclusion? We restate the opinion that we wrote at the beginning, but remember, we repeat the opinion using different words. An easy way to remember this is, if you could pause the video and repeat after me, this will be easy for you to remember. So, let's go. Repeat after me. I have an opinion. I need reason one, reason two and reason three to support my opinion. Conclusion. I repeat the opinion, but using different words. Okay. Now, we learned that we first need an opinion. So here's our opinion. Our opinion is that getting a pet dog would be great. So we are going to now convince our audience. Now our audience will be our parents. So we're going to convince our parents to get a pet dog. Okay, now the first part is done. We are on the brainstorming stage. When we are brainstorming, we don't write complete sentences. Instead, we write them in short and point form. So what's the first reason? that if we get a dog, it'll not make us lonely and be a good friend. And reason two, oh, we promised to clean our bedroom. So if we get a pet dog, our reason two is, we promise that we will clean our bedroom. Finally, we have reason three, and our reason three is, we could walk and exercise with him. All right, now that we have brainstormed, we have our opinion, we have our three reasons. Now let's put these into the structure that we saw earlier. Here's the structure. So to begin, we state our opinion. Here we have the opinion. And how do we write that? We start with, in my opinion, getting a pet dog would be amazing. Here are some reasons why. So with the opinion, we give a brief introduction to our persuasive text. Next comes what? I have an opinion. I need reason one, reason two, and reason three. Right, here's our reason one. First, when we have a dog, it will not make us feel lonely and be a good friend. Reason two. Next, having a dog will make us healthy because we could take him for walks and exercise with him. Reason three, also, if you get me a dog, I promise to clean my room and to do a lot of reading. Okay, so we have the opinion, our reason one, reason two, reason three. Conclusion, what do we do in the conclusion? We repeat the opinion, but we use different words. Okay, here we have the conclusion. All in all, I think that having a dog would be great. All right, now, as you can see, the structure helped us organize our persuasive text. Now, boys and girls, what do you notice about these reasons? First, next, also, all in all. What are these? These are all sequential words, boys and girls. When we give our reasons, we need to remember that we have to include sequential words. 
because we give them in an order. And also keep in mind that after you've written your sequencing word, you need to always remember to add a comma after that. Now, let's look at the opinion. Now, we have the opinion and how did we start it? We started it by using in my opinion. Now, you can use many different phrases other than in my opinion to start your opinion. Like this, I believe or I think. Okay, now that we know how to use the structure, we also learned that we have to write three reasons. Reason one, reason two and reason three. But remember, boys and girls, it's not only three reasons that you can write. You can definitely write more than three reasons. But remember, three reasons are the minimum because just stating one or two reasons will not convince our audience. We need at least three. Now, always think, will your audience find your reasons to be convincing enough? Will that be enough? Would our audience be convinced or persuaded by our reasons? Always think and go back to see if they're well. Now, like I said, you can definitely write more than three reasons. So let's explore now. Now, our opinion was to go get a dog. Now, let's think of some more reasons that we can use to convince our audience. That is, our parents. Here we have another reason. Now, again, notice we're starting with another sequencing word. Another reason is, I will always take care and sleep with him so that he will not trouble you. Our next reason, furthermore, again another sequencing word, my babysitter and grandpa have agreed to look after him while I'm at school, so the parents will not have to worry about looking after the dog even when you're out of home. Who will look after them? Oh, the babysitter and the grandpa is ready to look after him. Now, finally, here comes our last reason. Finally, dogs are cute and fluffy. And then we have the conclusion. Pause the video to see how we have done our brainstorming and how our persuasive text came out. All right. Now you know that we use persuasion to convince someone to do something to believe in you or to agree with our opinion. But we must support our opinion with reasons. And in the end, there has to be a conclusion where we repeat our opinion using different words. Now, are you ready to repeat how to remember the structure once again with Learn on the Go? All right, let's go. I have an opinion. I need reason one, reason two, and reason three to support my opinion. Conclusion. I repeat the opinion using different words. All right, why don't you now try to write one persuasive text on your own? Here are some ideas. Pause the video and start writing. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, remember to turn the notifications on by ringing the bell icon. Until I see you on our next video, bye!